pretending to have skills that I truly don't have. <laughs> it's, it's a superpower. Um, one of those skills, I have it in my LinkedIn profile, is a pretend carpenter. And the reason I say pretend is because uh, carpentry is an amazing art. And not only does it take an artistic viewpoint, but it takes an engineering engineering viewpoint on, on pretty much every project. And and um, my wife wanted a new laundry room. And, and so I put my carpentry skills to work and, and built some industrial shelving and uh, hung some cabinets. And as I was... Uh, Hanging the shelving, I actually uh, had to stain it first. So I stained it this, it's called Provincial. It's from Miniwax. Uh, it's a very beautiful stain. <laughs> Not that you care. I'm just giving you information uh, in context. And and there was two uh, shelves that I built out of industrial uh, piping and, and butcher block. And uh, I stained one side, then I stained the other, and then I stained the second other side and I slowly realized that three of the four slide sides were stained and I had run out of provincial stain so I'm like okay I'll run to Lowe's well I ran to Lowe's I also picked up a couple of other butcher block uh, boards uh, for a cabinet I'm making over the the washer and dryer and then I picked up uh, some screws, some brass screws, and, and I was all happy. And it was like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock on Sunday night. And came home, all the way home, unloaded everything, and went to stain uh, the fourth side that I had missed. And guess what? I forgot to pick up the stain again. So I had to go back to Lowe's and pick up the stain again. So I think I made maybe three to four trips to Lowe's last night, yesterday. Uh, being in Charlotte, North Carolina, I have nothing against Home Depot. I love Home Depot as well. Uh, Lowe's is, is local, so I, I prefer to shop local as much as possible. So Lowe's is typically my home um, improvement store. Plus, it's like two blocks away, and I can go there in a golf cart. <laughs> so selfishly, I like Lowe's. All right. Um, now that you're caught up on my Sunday escapades, uh, I wanted to show this this cool blog that Gerard um, wrote and Gerard wrote a cool blog on the democratization of, of hybrid work. And when I say that, I mean it in this context is that today we're still pretty much all remote. There's a few people dabbling and going back to the office. Uh, Zoom's one of those and, and we'll get there as we become vaccinated and herd mentality and all that good stuff. But in the meantime, in the next 6, 12, 18 months of, of a hybrid workforce, how are we going to tackle that? One of the great ways that Zoom is, is leading and being innovative in this space is the, is the home office. As, as you can see, I have an amazing home office. I put a ton of time into making my home office amazing. And as you, as a workforce, you probably are spending, if not all, m the majority of time in your home office. So make it as ex amazing, and as effective, and as collaborative as possible. How do you do that? Well, Zoom gives you that opportunity. Zoom can give you the ability to extend your full office into your home office and democratize the ability to join a meeting and no one really will know where you're at. You could be on a mobile phone. You could be on an iPad. You could be on a tablet, a laptop, a desktop, a Zoom room, a Zoom for home, a D10, a Facebook portal, an Amazon Fire. All these show you the power of Zoom as an agnostic platform. So Gerard wrote a great article, and please, I implore you to, to, to read the article about how you can utilize third-party hardware like an Amazon Fire to really take advantage of the hardware you already own. You already own a TV. You probably already own a, a camera, a, a speaker, but you can now utilize this capability and have your Zoom meetings Literally utilizing the hardware that you have in the home. You don't need 15, 50 inch uh, uh, work displays. You can literally use your monitor. You can literally use your TV, all from your home. And this is shows you the amazing ability for Zoom to really be an adaptive and dynamic 
platform through all this, this the hybrid workforce. Amazon second generation Fire TV Cube. This is an amazing tool. You can literally go from really work, seamlessly transition into entertainment with Netflix and Twitch and all these things that we can play with Prime Video built into the fire you can also use that as zoom for home you can have your own zoom room d10 go and d10 mate all these give you the ability to seamlessly transition from work to play finally facebook portal uh, is the ability to utilize this aspect built into the framework of of zoom it, it, it really just shows you the power of the platform and and I, I really can't say enough about how our paradigm shift of attitude of hey, you don't have to conform to our standards, we'll conform to yours. We'll be an agnostic player in this space. Utilizing any hardware vendor, any uh, protocol, any ability to to kind of seamlessly bring in consumer versus uh, enterprise level work and f workflows together. Hope that's somewhat helpful. Again, check out that, that blog. It's, it's really amazing.